to Nashville. So we are about four hours into our trip, right? We have an hour and a half left to go. It is a pretty long drive. It's not like too, too bad, but we were gonna fly to Nashville because where we live in Roanoke, Virginia, they came out with like Allegiant flights that were super inexpensive, but then they got rid of them. So here we are driving and it is myself, Patrick, and my mom on this trip. My dad was supposed to go, but he is really sick the past couple days. Not anything like deathly sick, but he just like has a virus, I guess. And he told us this morning he didn't feel like going. So yeah, can't cancel the Airbnb. So here we are, us three are still going just for a few days and it should be very fun. We all love Nashville. Everyone is snacking right now. I'm so excited. I have to do my makeup in the car, I suppose, which I've been doing, but I have like crazy under eye circles right now. I can't talk about under eye circles. This camera gives me a skin blur though, so that's nice. But anyways, yeah, so it's gonna be a fun trip. We're just in lounge clothes right now, so we're gonna have to change once we get there. But yeah, we're enjoying all of the fall foliage. So basically when we knock out this 99 miles, we're gonna be there. Yeah. I love it when it gets like under 100 miles, you know, or like especially under 50. Then you're like, the excitement just builds. I don't like it when we get under 30. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna be there around 4 p.m. Nashville time. And we don't have any plans after that. So we're just gonna have to figure out what we wanna do. But we're staying in a really cool Airbnb. The Airbnb is what inspired this entire trip. So I will definitely be sure to give you guys a full tour. It's definitely way too big for three people, but this trip was just, it's just been a lot. Because we originally found this Airbnb. Mom really wanted to stay there. They only had two dates available. So we picked this date, which is close to my birthday, which is cool for me and then we invited several people who couldn't go and then my dad last minute couldn't go so it's just us three and this big airbnb but it's beautiful it's like designer inspired so yeah that's kind of what inspired the trip so i will show you guys that once we get there in about an hour and a half feeling in my bones i could feel it in my veins just a So cute. I love him. I like this wall. But yeah, so here is the living room. Downstairs, there's like another bedroom, which I can show you guys later, but it's like a bunk room. And this is a townhouse, so the door goes out and there's other townhouses like right next to us. And then this is a little sitting area that looks really nice. Nice big TV, Louis Vuitton themed living room and kitchen area. The kitchen's really nice. We have pink bar stools. Yay, I love pink Huge, bar this stools. is like one of the nicest big kitchens I've seen in a... I know. Makes me want to like cook here. They also gave us a free bottle of wine and trash bags. <laughs> and they have a pink Keurig. You were worried about the Keurig. Yay! Pink guitar next to Elvis. So here is the YSL room. How cool. This reminds me of Jacqueline Hill's bedroom. Do you follow her? She did her bedroom like very like dark and like black. I get it because it would make it like good for it's sleeping. Like, yeah. For sure. So cute. It is. I love this. Like you can yes. like around it. And then here is the other side. Look, you guys. Wonder who did Lauren. all this artwork because it's obviously Nashville. all hand painted. I know. So cool. Ooh, I love this light. So it's pretty. So pretty. And here's the bathroom. Imagine they delete Instagram. Boom. You're not a model anymore. Damn. Is that Dolly on our wall? We have to send a picture to Papa Will. I know. Look at this little view. Yep, you can see right in somebody else's room. <laughs> Another bunk bedroom. Oh my gosh, the Gucci room. Gucci? Beautiful. Oh Please set up here later. Look at this. This is the dream. Oh, I might have to take advantage of a bath here. You so might like, have to. Yes. But then look at that shower. That's kind of the shower I want. Have you seen this closet? 
Yeah. It's very nice, huh? Oh my gosh. Yes. You could spread out your clothes. They even have hangers in here for you if you want to hang stuff up. This is a great shower. Mm -hmm. no, I love that shower. I love it. This whole place is just cool. Lots of mirrors in here. And then here is the rooftop with a nice mural right next door. So cute. So we'll probably hang out up here at night, have a fire pit, some seating. This will be great for pictures too with that mural in the background. Oh. Super cute. Here is my little travel outfit of the day. Leggings, of course, white t-shirt, and then this sweatshirt I wanted to show you guys because it's so cute. Although I don't know if they still have it because it was like a limited release with Kelsey Light on Instagram. Love her. She collabed with Skullhouse Designs to make this sweatshirt. This says, love me more. I'll probably have to get Patrick to video the back, but on the back it just says, love you, love me more, which is just, Duh, adorable. And then I have on my sparkly shoes, which will be making quite the appearance this weekend, or this week, I guess. And then I just have on some bobble bar jewelry. This necklace is adorable and it's actually, I'll flip you guys around so you can see better in the light, but it's actually reversible. It's really, really pretty. So on the one side, it's like black and gold and blingy. And then on the other side, it's just gold and bling. And I have a couple of bobble bar bracelets on. I love this chain link one adorable you guys know i love bobble bar i've talked about them for years they're just like really amazing affordable jewelry that goes with everything and they actually gifted me these pieces so thank you very much bobble bar they will be linked down below just thought i would mention them in case you guys are interested that's my little travel outfit i think this is the only full-length mirror in the place so you might be seeing me here a lot so we're back at the mirror this is outfit of the night for night one in nashville this is a corduroy jumpsuit from show me your moo moo honestly guys i wasn't sure if i was gonna wear this but i feel like when in nashville why not basically i got this in the regular size like sizing and it was so long so i went back and got it in a petite and now it's like a little too short especially with the bump but i mean i think it works for the most part i'm not wearing super high heels so i think it ended up looking decent but because of the inseam like it's just not really tall enough just by like an inch or two it's very hard for me to get on and off my arms not really on but just off so i'm gonna have to have help getting this off so it should be interesting if i have to go to the bathroom but anyways yeah jumpsuit show me your moo moo have on dolce vita boots and then i don't really have a bag that looks fabulous with this so i'm just carrying my gucci bag so we'll see if my mom has something different but if not we'll go with the gucci we are ready for the first night out on the town our Uber is here and it's golden hour. It's so pretty. are back from our first night out in Nashville. Although we didn't really do a whole lot. We got to downtown, put our name in at the Stillery, which is like one of my favorite restaurants in Nashville. It's really good. It's right in downtown Broadway. Very, very good. Although it's usually a long wait. So we waited an hour and a half for that. But while we waited, we just went next door to, I think it was called um, Big Shots. That's what it was. Very small bar, not one of the big names, like right on Music Row, but it's like on the side street that the Stillery's on. It was okay. We had listened to music mom and patrick got a beer i got a non-alcoholic beer as you saw and yeah we just hung out and then we ate dinner it took a while at the distillery because the food took a while to get out but once it did come it was very very good i got the nashville hot chicken mac and cheese 10 out of 10 we actually took our leftovers home like back here to the airbnb because we definitely were not able to eat it all my mom and i probably could have split something but you know you live and you learn right so anyways we're back i 
was determined not to pee while I was in that jumpsuit because it just would have been not a good sight to see. I would have had to have help. So we just decided to come back early because we're probably gonna be downtown quite a bit while we're here. And there's a concert tonight, Keith Urban. And we've seen before from personal experience down like Broadway gets so crazy when there's concerts. So we just decided to beat the rush and come to our Airbnb early. So that's what we did. Went to the store to grab like snacks, coffee, Patrick grabbed some beer, stuff like that. And then we're home and I'm about to rip these lashes off just like that. It's the best. Do you have a good night? I had a good night. Fire pit's not working though. But I'm Great. gonna get a lighter and old school it. That's the thing about Airbnbs. They promise all this stuff and then sometimes it doesn't work. Every time I've gotten to an Airbnb with either a grill or a fire pit, the propane's empty. Yeah. Every time. Anyways, yeah, so I think that's it for tonight, but I will absolutely be sure to vlog whatever we do tomorrow. We have brunch at Restoration Hardware, which I've never been to before. Very excited. And then we're probably going to plan what we're going to do after that tonight, hopefully. <laughs> Walking around. It's a beautiful day. Hot though. I see it in your eyes. You want to see them more. Like we are so made. Something we never felt before. Yeah, I don't mind. Take my time. Yeah, let's be in this bit yeah. now. Hello everyone, we are back from our daily adventures. Mom's playing the guitar in the background <laughs> that she's probably definitely not supposed to touch, so. We had a good day. I filmed some clips. We went to Restoration Hardware this morning for breakfast. I filmed the breakfast, which was very, very good. The entire breakfast was amazing and the waitress was so sweet and pleasant experience. And they had the cutest kids and baby section. That was all crazy expensive. And we just walked around 12 South and I got some flowers from Amelia's flower truck. I need to get this off. How pretty. So, so cute. They were $27. This is the most expensive bouquet that I'll probably get. And I've had this belt on all day and this belt has been annoying me. It broke three times today, literally. And I've had to put it back together. Well, Patrick put it back together once. I put it back together twice. Anyways, me and this belt were fighting. And we went in Stony Clover Lane, which was the cutest thing ever. And we made a bag for our baby girl and we will pick it up tomorrow. But it has her name on it and I'm not announcing her name for a while. So unfortunately, I don't even think you guys can see it, but it's so cute and you'll see it eventually. It was very expensive. The most expensive thing we'll probably buy her. Stony Clover Lane is really expensive, but 
it's really cute. Anyways, we're gonna regroup, change, figure out what we're gonna do for dinner and later tonight. So we have our outfits of the night. Mom's wearing a cute orange dress with matching shoes and a bag, all from Nordstrom sale. It is. Your hand is like resting on my butt. <laughs> And then I have on this all black outfit. Just have on this black stretchy skirt that I've worn a few times. And then a Britney Spears shirt. Except before all the drama, you know? Same jewelry, because I didn't feel like changing. Have on these booties and this little black and silver bag. Adorable. And then a jean jacket because it is a little chilly. These were two nights at night. Not really during the day, but that's the fit. We're still deciding what we're gonna do because we, I don't know, we're just, we don't have any plans. We're just confused. We were gonna go to the pharmacy, but it's a little sketch. We don't know if their wait list is open. So we might go to a Mexican restaurant. We'll see. You wanna show your fit? Got the fit, got the Goon Bros. They're OGs. Got my tractor supply, Wrangler, <laughs> button up, cowboy style with the buttons. Got my H&M, super wrinkly. Don't worry about that. American Eagle and Coles for the Coles? boots. Coles for the boots, $30, check Amazing. them out. Amazing, what an affordable fit. It's affordable. We are walking around the Gulch. It's nighttime. We put our name in at St. What is it? Anejo. St. Anejo. Ane it looks, Anejo. Sorry if we're not saying that right, but it looks like a very good place, but there was a wait, like there is everywhere. Anyways, yeah, so we're gonna go back, wait probably another 20, 30 minutes. And we went to the Angel Wings though in the Gulch, so that was fun See? experience. We checked it off. I'll pop our little pics up right here. Very cute. So at least we can say our walk while we're waiting was not worthless, you know? Mm -hmm. It was worth, we worth do something worthless. it was worth an angel picture that's what it was worth we got our tacos i got a ground beef taco and hot chicken got the same thing except carnitas then we have a burrito <laughs> second full day in Nashville. So here is the OOTD. Hopefully we'll get lots of good pictures again today like we have the past couple days. But I love this little outfit. It's very Nashville. I actually bought this a long time ago, probably like beginning of this year from Show Me Your Moo Moo. And I haven't gotten a chance to wear it. And it is a little summery considering it's October, but it's like 80 degrees today, like 75 to 80 degrees. It's perfect for the weather. So yeah, just a little stretchy denim long sleeve dress, belted, so cute obsessed and it's super comfortable as well and then these earrings are from altered state they say howdy very very nashville i dress super touristy when i come to nashville because you only live once and it's so fun to just do outfits like this so all of you that live in nashville can relax on calling me a tourist we get it i know and then we have a fringy bag which is from shop impressions it's very large too which i like it holds a lot of stuff and then i have on my dolce vita like western boots which are really nice and comfortable as well that's the fit and then i also have on this little tennis necklace from bobble bar which as i mentioned at the beginning of this video all my bobble bar jewelry will be linked in the description box they're the best so check that out and i'll try to link whatever's in stock as well we're at Hattie B's. Why are you looking like you hate me? That's 
Walter got a hot sandwich. Got lots of fries. I just got tenders. They look really good though. And mom got a mild sandwich. Yum. All the food. We waited probably like an hour for this, so let's hope it's good. <laughs> it better be good. It does sound like me. <laughs> Legends. Walking around Broadway in the daytime. Going to Tootsie's. We've got big plans for tomorrow. Legends. Going to see our favorite band in Nashville, Scallywags, and what? Christine. Christine something in the Scallywags. Krebs, maybe? I don't know. Something like that. Give us a spin. Cute. I think this is perfect. Just this amount. Yeah. Should go down any further. No, I like it just like that. I know I can see my hat band. Yeah. I love that. 
Hello, you guys. I have not like spoken to the vlog yet this morning. We kind of got a later start than normal, kind of like we did yesterday. But um, we ordered breakfast from another broken egg. It was really good. We went to pick up our Stony Clover Lane stuff, which is so, so cute. They give you these huge bags. Patrick and I made a duffel bag for our daughter. We put like her nickname on it. Super cute. So we're happy with it. I wish I could show you guys, but like I said, we're not announcing her name. I'm gonna put a seatbelt on. So I won't show you that one. And then my mom got a few gifts, so we can't show those, but I will show you the one she made for herself. Just says Jenny and it's like the clear pouch. So cute. When you're actually in the store, they like stitch them for you or when you order online. So that's really nice. If you just order like the patches, they're just stickable. So they're not stitched on. So they might not stay as long. So yeah, very, very cute. We had such a good experience there. Everyone was so nice. Um, I'm just gonna hold the camera because it just got thrown across the car twice. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyways, everyone at Stony Clover Lane was super nice. And then we did another customization experience at the Rustler Hat Company. Amazing. So, so cute. It is expensive. So just know that beforehand. Their hats start at $195. And then you can choose a hat that's like $400. We both did the $195 one. But it was so much fun. And the girls in there are super sweet. You can choose your different hat bands. You can get it branded, burnt. You can do stitching. Definitely the priciest hat that I own, but it was a really fun experience and win in Nash, right? I think right? you're paying for the experience of it too. Yeah, like for the sure. The hat's great and it's really good quality, Custom. but the experience is amazing. Yeah. Super fun day and we sat at a coffee shop before we went in there, which was the coffee shop inside of the Thompson Hotel, if you're curious, and it was very good. Best coffee I've ever tasted. Hands Best down. coffee he's ever tasted, apparently. <laughs> It was very good. Well, I heard, I did hear another guy who looked like a local come in and he was like, he told the girl, the baristas, he was like, this is the best Americano in the city. And I don't say that lightly. So he was bragging on them as well. I have a cute outfit on today. I have not taken any pictures and it's about to rain, but I have a t-shirt and then this little sparkly skirt from Show Me Your Moo Moo and then more bobble bar jewelry. These earrings, they kind of remind me of like a little rainbow. So cute. Now we are going to, the white limousine which is dolly parton's new restaurant slash bar it's not near broadway so we're gonna go hopefully find parking it is about to rain which could be a good thing because maybe people aren't going there right now and we can just like sit inside or whatever but it sucks that it's raining anyways yeah so we're gonna go there hopefully maybe get some food drinks for these two and <laughs> just you know see where the wind takes us you're not gonna drink anything while you're there nothing water <laughs> mocktail but yeah and then we're gonna try to go to broadway around 6 30 because we have a band that patrick and i saw when we were here called christine something and the scallywags and they're very good so we'd like to see them and then if we're hungry again after that we're gonna either go to 12 30 club a mexican restaurant down there that was recommended or just the assembly food hall so we have a plan for the day and that's what matters <laughs> We are about to head back out for the night. We had to come home and do a quick outfit change, of course, to fit all of our Nashville outfits in. And I was super excited to wear this beautiful hand jeweled cowgirl hat that I got from Etsy from the Rhinestone Cowgirl. So beautiful, so excited to wear it. Although I'm sad because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a good picture. I'm gonna try, but it's raining outside. Like it's a thunderstorm, so. Anyways, yeah, I just changed into this dress. Also from Show Me Your Moo Moo, like a lot of the stuff in this video. They are just like the perfect retailer for Nashville, but it's super comfortable, pretty like long too. Like I'm not gonna flash anyone, has this belt with it, has pockets. And then like I said, the hat is just gorgeous. I'll have to get Patrick to film it. Then just normal like gold jewelry, borrowing mom's white Chanel bag again, cause I didn't bring a white bag on this trip. And I originally planned to wear this with tall white boots, but I actually think the glittery ones look 
better anyways. And they will definitely be more comfortable for me to walk in. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And that is the outfit. Very cute. Doesn't show the bump as much as the outfit today, but it's there. Your outfit, all Tell black and it. silver. Black with a little red. Gorgeous. My favorite color. We are headed home today but we do have a couple stops before we head home so we have reservations today for brunch at liberty common which was one of my favorite restaurants that we ate at for my friend's bachelorette party so hopefully it's just as good as i remember um because i've been talking it up quite a bit so we'll see if patrick approves of it i didn't vlog a whole lot last night because i just didn't we went to see the band that i was telling you guys about they were pretty good we requested a few songs and then after that we just went to eat at blanco on broadway which is a mexican place again and it was very good patrick said it was the best mexican he ever ate you remember saying that do you I'll stand, stand by, by it? Too, yeah. Damn good Mexican. <laughs> All right, you heard it here first. So, got a lot of bests here. Yep. Best Mexican, best coffee. Yep. So, anyways, that's all we did. Then we got back to the Airbnb, and that's pretty much it. We went to bed around 11. And then this morning, we got up and got ready. And I'm wearing my beautiful hat that I made at Wrestler Hat Company so cute before a reservation we are going to this like children's boutique here in nashville that i found on instagram called magpies just to like check it out they have like cute baby stuff and whatever i don't know i thought it'd be fun it's probably nothing like too crazy special but we don't have places like that where we live so we'll check it out and then we're gonna go get brunch and hit the road this is so cute to me. Liberty Common Brunch. I got Nashville hot chicken biscuit. After I got Nashville hot chicken and waffles. <laughs> Mom's already chowing down. We got pancakes for the table and she just got like eggs and stuff. They have the best biscuits ever. And also, weirdly, the best orange juice ever. 